everyone and welcome to this clip in this review note we are going to be looking at the effect of OSPF once everything has converged on router one with respect to my topology OSPF is set up on all the interfaces all the networks are added in let's take a look and see what happened first thing to look at is the routing table I have my two connected networks, 10.100.1, 192.168.88. Notice all of these other networks with an O in the left-hand column. Learned about the network on the other side of um, router two. I've learned about the network on the other side of router three, and I've learned about the network on the other side of router four. All of those are being provided to me because of the LSAs, or the link state advertisements that were sent over from those other routers. Unless something changes in the network topology, we're never gonna see any difference with that. Another thing I wanna look at, some information about OSPF itself. So a few different commands for that. I wanna show IP protocol. If I enter that, I see a number of things here. Uh, one is the PID or the process ID, which is going to be one. I can see my router ID for this router. I can see what networks this router is advertising. And then I can also see all, including me, all of the different routers that are participating in the autonomous system. Those are the ones that I am communicating with. Okay. A couple of other things we can do. We can look at our neighbors, which is also something we very often want to uh, find out who we're talking to directly. We can see from that that we have three different neighbors. Router IDs, 192.168.255, then .251, .252, .253. One of the really useful features of the output of this command is to find out, especially in a broadcast network, what role these routers are taking. You can see that this guy up at the top, the status is BDR, which tells me this is the backup designated router. We can see that these guys are not a designated router at all. They're simply participating in the OSPF process. And you can probably guess by process of elimination that this guy is actually the designated router. How can we see that? Again, showing IPOSPF, I'm going to show interface. And then in this case, I want to look specifically at gigabit zero that goes out into that broadcast network. When I do that, a couple of things come up from here. Again, we can see the router uh, address and all the rest, that kind of thing. But we can look at the designated router, there's the router ID, that's me, that's router one, which means I'm the designated router. Not only that, right underneath that, I can see who the backup designated router is. And that's pretty much it for looking at status in a full production environment. There's more to it than that, but that's fine for what we're doing now. End of the video clip. Hopefully this has been helpful for you, and we'll see you next time.